everyone, so today I'm going to show you how far I've come on Project Pan. Today is May 3rd, 2012, as you see there. So it's been about five weeks since I started Project Pan. That's a little over a month, and I know I said I would do an update in a month, but things got kind of crazy as the semester is ending in college right now, and um, yeah, all that good stuff. But also, I film my videos usually a week before they're posted. Like the videos I'm posting or the videos I'm recording today are going to be posted next week. So I just I, I kinda tend to do that. So that's another reason why this is a little late. But I'll show you uh, how much I've accomplished and what I'm planning on doing um, from here on out. First I'm going to show you the things I completely finished and I'm really proud about. This actually wasn't in my project pan originally. A couple things aren't if, you, if you'll if you notice, but um, I thought since I finished them I'll just add them. It's a bonus size, VO5 Moisture Milks Moisturizing Shampoo in Strawberries and Cream. And um, I also have the conditioner and yeah, so I just finished this. I literally did have only like one use left on this and then it was done. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but this is completely empty. <laughs> I did end up finishing my shower gel from Dollar Tree. It's completely gone. And this is the Marshmallow Body Cream, or Body Souffle, from Philosophy, and this was two ounces. And as you can see by, you know, me squeezing the living daylights out of it, that this is finished. I'm happy this is gone, honestly, because I have way too many lotions, so now that I started Project Pan, I'm kind of on the side mentally. I'm using all my lotions before I buy any others because I have way too many lotions and they need to go. So um, that this kind of motivated me to start that. My favorite this little Urban Decay Primer Potion is gone. Um, you may, I don't know, there's like a little product left, but it's very little. It's like not even enough to do two eyes. So. Um, that's gone, and I really, really need to repurchase Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion because I don't have any more now, and this is my holy grail eyeshadow primer. It's my all-time favorite. What I've been using in the meantime is uh, my e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, which is kind of my second favorite, but it, it does crease sooner than the Urban Decay and I really need to get some, it's just I kind of don't feel like spending the $20 to do so. And then I finished my moisturizing chapstick, if you see, there's literally like, it went down as far as possible. I was using this and the rims were like scratching my lips so I was just like, okay, it's officially done. So that's done, but not to worry, I already have another. <laughs> Something else I finished that wasn't originally in Project Pan is this vanilla cupcake candle and this um, was from my grandmother's house who had passed away in November and um, I don't know I just love candles lately and I like vanilla cupcake but if you can see there's product left but every time I try to light the wick it doesn't go so it's officially done Another thing that is really close to being done is another thing that wasn't originally featured. This is Chocolate Cream Donut um, Pocket Back Hand Sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. And it's okay that this is almost done. Um, I don't have another like this and it smells really good and I don't think they carry it anymore. But I have, I think, five other pocket bags <laughs> since... I got this, so I definitely have backups, and I, I always use this when I pump gas, you know, after a store, after school, something, um, so this is always hanging on my purse in the little handy dandy thing, so that's almost done, as you can see. Another thing that I wanted to finish was this Dove hairspray, because I have other hairsprays I like a lot better, however, there's a lot left in here, it seems. I use this basically every day. Um, you know, in a good amount, but there's still tons left. So, um, I guess I'll just keep using this until it's run out, because it's not terrible, it's just it doesn't do much for me. Um, but yeah, so that's not completely done, but I'd say I used at least half from the time Project Pan started. Then I have the Rimmel Fix and Perfect 
original primer. This is the orange one. This is to the point where I think I need to shake it to like get some out of it. I think I have maybe a couple uses left on this and I couldn't be happier because I think this is one of the leading factors that makes me look orange. You know, even if my foundation is perfect, my concealer is perfect, everything works and it's great. Ugh, I just hate that this has an orange undertone. And, it, and you can see it. When you apply it, you instantly look orange. I just, I hate that. I really want to try their new one that's clear though. So if anyone has thoughts on that, please let me know if it's better than this because, I mean, I like how this wears, you know, I don't think it's a bad primer, I just, I don't understand why they had to tint it orange. The else is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Day to Night Mascara. I actually have kind of fallen in love with this again. This might be my backup to CoverGirl Lash Blast if they ever discontinue it because the volumizing, that's what I use mainly, is the volumizing part, and I just, I really like it. I've been liking it. Um, it's not completely done, but I have, this is the only mascara I've been using, um, for a while now. So, powders. Oh my god, I thought these would be so much easier to hit pan on and finish, but they weren't. I'll start with the worst. The e.l.f. powder. You can see I hit pan, it's got a little wider, but this powder just there's still a lot to go and uh, I have another theory with these two powders so I'll let you know after I discuss the next one. The LA Colors powder I'm proud to say even though it's not finished you can see I hit pan a lot more. Given it kind of cracked a little in certain areas so a little bit fell off but I'm telling you I use this probably a lot more than the e.l.f. one because I noticed it was easier to finish and plus honestly I do like this one better than the e.l.f. one this is a dollar, this is three dollars, and I actually like this one better. Um, now what I'm going to say about these two powders is, well also you can tell I like this one better because it's a little closer to my skin tone. I think the e.l.f. one is also too orange for me and a little too dark, and I also think this one is a tad too dark for me or too pink because I have more yellow based skin. Um, so that's why in a recent haul, um, I got more of a yellowy LA Colors powder. I have yet to try it because I was on Project Pan, but um, hopefully that matches me better. Alright, so next are lip products. Um, today I have this Frappuccino NYX lipstick on with my Coastal Scents Stra On Nude lip gloss over it. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the first video, because obviously I can't hold them together, but I did use... A bit of this you know this was one of those products I didn't want to use completely and I didn't but I used it more these coastal scents smacks I thought we're gonna be another easy product to get rid of but as you can see Odyssey is a little past half used and straw on nude is just about half so these aren't done but I can't tell you how many t days I wore these on the days I didn't even want to wear these, I did because I, I knew I was doing it for Project Pan. But I miss my other lip colors. I really do. Um, so, you know, those are... I'm going to put them back in my makeup collection and use them every once in a while. But I'm going to tell you, the thing I hate the most about these is the awful applicator. Look at how that brush is just, like, all over the place. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely terrible, and that's probably why they changed them, which I like a lot better. But, um, yeah, so those aren't completely finished. But this I'm happy on is my L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm. And if you notice, that little tiny clear, almost see-through part in the bottom is, like, just about hitting pan, which makes me so excited. I absolutely love, love this Jelly Balm, and I will repurchase it when it's completely gone, but look at it. I'm just so happy that I actually finally hit pan on it. I gotta get going on my other L'Oreal Hip Jelly Bomb. It's like a red tinted one, and I've barely used it. Probably just because I like how this is kind of a neutral color, but... So I hope that is all of it. I hope I didn't forget anything from my first Project Pan video, because that's all the stuff I had handy. 
But here's what I'm thinking of doing when this is done. I think, honestly, you know, I'll probably title this Project Pan Update, but honestly, I don't want to continue with it. Um, I was one of those people that always wanted to try Project Pan, but it's so difficult. It's, you know, it's... Oh, I don't. I, I did not really enjoy it that much. I mean, I got excited when I hit pan on things and when I used things up, but some of the stuff I just... I want to use the new powders I have and different lip colors on a given day and my favorite primer versus uh, this orange tinted primer. Um, you know, I want to use different things on different days because I do have a collection that I enjoy and want to experiment with and review. So... You know, I did it for the experience. I'm glad I did it, but I honestly think I'm done with it for today. But what I think I'll do from here on out is finish this because I really think this is really almost done. These I'm going to put back in my drawer for maybe the summertime and maybe they'll match me a little better. This I'll continue to use because I'm actually really liking it. The lip glosses I'll put back in the drawer because I want to use different lip colors. They also taste a little weird to me. This I'll use whenever I feel like it, because, you know, I like it. This I'll put back in my drawers and use when I feel like it. This I'll probably use in conjunction with my other hairsprays, because I want to use them too. This will be used up in no time, and that's about it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this update video, and um, I'm about to throw away the things I finished because they've been sitting around in empty bottles and it's bothering me. So now that I finally filmed this, I can finally get rid of trash. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Project Pan journey. Um, do a video response. I'd love to see if you guys have done Project Pan in the past. Um, or maybe you're just doing it and you want to tell me what you're using. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. Bye.